Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I want to go ahead and talk about the election real quick. Uh, it's a real shame everything that's happening is happening right now, and I don't think it's going to get any better anytime soon. Maybe we, maybe we might see something in the courts. Maybe, uh, you know, a miracle will happen, and the Supreme Court will just fucking award uh, Trump the the presidency for a second time, and we could see all the Joe Biden fanatics fucking crying their little eyeballs out. I, I kind of would like that. I would like to see that. But right now, it doesn't really seem like it's going to happen. So that's just my personal fantasy, you know. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about what Joe Biden wants to do. Go ahead and see here. This is a little Biden-Harris uh, little post-it for Twitter and all that. Biden, President Biden will, this is what President Biden has uh, pledged, establish a new task force on online harassment and abuse to focus on the connection between mass shootings, online harassment, extremism, and violence against women. Oh, once again, you know, uh, the mainstream is going up against gamers again. Uh, they just, they really want you people to be fucking slaughtered. They really do want to see you all in jail. Uh, Biden is a stupid, doddering old fucktard who's going to die probably midway through fucking 90 days. And it's it's probably going to, about 90 days, he's going to die fucking 90 days into his fucking presidency. And who the fuck cares if he does? Fuck him. And then that fascist fucking cop, Kamala Harris, is going to get in. These people, they, they hate counterculture. They hate uh, geek culture, quote-unquote, whatever the fuck that stupid shit means. They hate gamers. They hate gaming. Uh, this is how they just subvert the Constitution into, and turn it into Swiss cheese. They'll just keep doing it and doing it. These people hate America and everything it fucking stands for. They hate the people here. They hate fucking freedom. They hate every fucking right you fucking have. And honestly, it's not going to stop till they're fucking forcibly removed, hopefully from the planet. But, you know, I wait with bated breath to see if that's going to happen or not. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what dear old Joe wants to do. Joe Biden won the White House, one of the most progressive agendas of any major party presidential candidate in history. Well, let's go ahead and see what he's got, huh? Let's go ahead and see. Ending the pandemic. Biden promised to level with the American people. Bullshit bullshit about what needs to be done and to quote unquote follow the science to find answers not just for public health but also to get the economy in order let's see let's see let's see what the fuck does that mean what it means is all the structure of the trump presidency will essentially just remain all that's going to happen is some of the faces, if not all the faces, are going to change. And they're just going to do the exact same thing. This is all fucking smoke and mirrors, people. This is fucking bread and circuses, all right? You're not actually going to get a brand new presidency. You're not going to get a fucking president that will actually do anything for you. And if you voted for him and you were really 100% on the side, you're a fucking rube. Ha ha ha, you're dumb. Anyway, this is the issue that got Biden elected, and the one he will be judged on foremost. If he fails to pull the nation out of this crisis, it'll doom the rest of his agenda. Yeah, well, no shit, because apparently the, the fucking virus just shows up, you know, whenever there's a whole giant crowd of fucking people, right? Allegedly, unless you're a Biden supporter or anything else, right? It's, it's kind of funny how... Every fucking, like, right-wing rally was called a Nazi rally and a super spreader event. But when Biden and his fanatics uh, gather in the street without, like, their masks on, even with your masks on, gathering in close proximity to that is fucking, uh, you know, it, it's a spreader event. Yeah, your mask can protect you a little bit, but probably not by much. Being, being bombarded, I think, w with that much... Uh, Potential COVID mouth droplets that just uh, go through the cracks of your fucking masks and just coat you head to toe. I can't really imagine how healthy that would be. There's always talks about sicknesses and stuff. 
whenever people come back from uh, protests or conventions and stuff like that. So I, I can't imagine like these the 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 amount of protesters that have been protesting since the beginning. I can't imagine most of the originals are left. They're probably at home fucking very sick or something. Or they're just tired of it because it's all fucking subterfuge. Anyway, that's a different video. Uh, Biden says he wants to hire 100,000 people to be a part of the national contracting workforce that would help the public health departments around the country. It's a pretty detailed plan. It's quite polished, Dr. George Rutherford, an infectious disease expert with the UCSF, told the Chronicle last month. If Biden wins and start putting parts of this plan in place immediately, it has potential for being a major turning point in this pandemic. Uh, yeah, I'll believe that when I see that. I, I keep getting told that our leaders have all these fucking great plans and we know exactly what to do. Personally, I'm I'm, I'm expecting the fu like I don't trust trust these people at all. I don't believe anything they say. I just assume they're just going to open up fucking concentration camps or something. It's going to be a a medical dystopia, you know, like a I think a, think the crazies that movie. It's pretty much essentially just going to be that, except not a whole lot of people are going to get sick. If they do get, I, you know, I just. I just don't care. Fuck all these people. I honestly just expect completely the worst. I don't have any faith in them at all. Anyway, let's get past this fucking stupid shit because there's no point in it. There's no point in fucking COVID. Fuck COVID. Expanding health care. Biden wants to expand Affordable Care Act by allowing people to buy into the government-run Medicare program, a plan known as the public option. Those who don't want to do so would still have their private insurance. He also supports lowering the Medicare eligibility from 65 to 60. You know, the Obama administration was talking about this over and over and over, and they did fuck all really to even attempt to get it uh, get it through there was a hundred there, there must have been like a dozen or so different fucking medicare you can buy into acts you know by alan grace and uh al franken and all them it, it, it was debated over and over and over again and obama just said oh the public option's just off the table there's no popularity there's no uh pull for it and there was like just so much for that that was like that was the second biggest thing that everyone will want. They everyone everyone wanted. They wanted universal health care, like the Europeans or the Canadians have, or they wanted that. They wanted a public option, but they just got fucked. They got railroaded by Obama and Biden, uh, which, by the way, he, you guys elected to say <laughs> you guys are just falling for the same shit again. This is all crap that Obama fucking said. That he wanted to do. And we just got a disastrous fucking a ACA fucking act. Yeah, there's a couple of positive spots in there. But it, it it's a fucking shitty bill. And you're fucking stupid if you actually believe it's something great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way. Have fun with this little part right here. It took Obama almost three and a half fucking years. Almost three something years for something to find. For the ACA for something to finally fall into his lap and get passed. And it's just a bunch of fucking fucking bullshit if you actually believe that this is going to happen. It's not. It's it's going to largely remain the exact same way. It's not going to change at all. It's just going to be the same shit over and over and over. You might get one or two things back, but all it's going to do is just jack up your taxes. You're just going to end up paying more that way. Reforming Immigration... Biden pledged that within 100 days of taking office, he will direct Congress to craft a pathway to citizenship for more than 11 million undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. You know, I'm just uh, just going to go ahead and fast forward this. You're not getting this. This is fucking shit that's always said by every Democrat ever, every Republican ever, too. These people that you elect do not give a shit about reforming immigration or immigration reform, whatever it is. They do not fucking care. Every single one of these people runs on this fucking platform. Do the Democrats or the Republicans ever, ever act on it? The answer is no, they're not. They're not going to get it, and you're fucked. You're just completely fucked. 
you're not going to get immigration reform. It's not going to happen. Never happens, ever. And if it does, it's fucking shitty. Or it's uh, cages that the uh, that the Obama administration, along with Joe Biden, uh, fucking built. And it's kind of funny because they're called the Trump cages. It, the cages I'm talking about are the ones that AOC did that stupid, shitty uh, photo op. The, the very non-convincing photo op where she's pretending to cry. The, the, she has no emotion, no soul. That fucking bitch, uh, AOC. She does not. She has nothing. Like, uh, everything about her is so absolutely fake. And she's a disgusting person. I wouldn't even consider her, like, any kind of, like, decent human being. Uh, what, what she did at, at the border was act. She didn't shed real tears. She was looking at the camera, for God's sake. Oh, I'm crying really hard because I am feeling genuine human emotion. Please give me lots of money and vote for her because she's a fucking bum. Uh, she was, for Christ's sake, when she first got elected, uh, she was complaining that no one fucking from the government got me a home to stay. I'm expected to pay for it myself. The government should do it. Ooh. Oh, she fucking sucks so hard. I wish she lost her election, but people in New York are fucking retarded. Uh, but by the way, this is my daily fuck New York up its stupid ass fucking rant. I just want to say, you know, New York sucks. Fuck it up its stupid ass. Uh, oh, God. Stronger action on climate change. By the way, I'm reading all this from San SFChronicle.com. Links will be in the description, and uh, hopefully I remember to do like a scrolly thingy, uh, you know, while I'm reading all this and stuff. So, yeah, anyway. Stronger action on climate change. Biden wants the U.S. to be fully powered by renewable energy by 2035, unlike many progressives. However, he hasn't disavowed fracking a natural gas extraction process that releases large amounts of greenhouse gases and contaminate groundwater. You know, because he's not going to, because he's a fucking little fracker. You know, that's all he is. He's a fucking fracking supporter, and he's never going to disavow it. Uh, here, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and get through it. He doesn't support the Green New Deal. He doesn't fucking care. Uh, the Green New Deal which calls for the U.S. to run on 100% renewable energy within 10 years. <laughs> that is a fucking batshit insane. Uh, fuck, we, we cannot build the infrastructure. to. We, we, we cannot get rid of our current infrastructure fast enough and replace it fast enough with an infrastructure, with a, with a power grid, a power infrastructure that could sustain... Uh, uh, this uh, renewable energy, which which you know it, it's a it, it's a fucking one two three shoot a paper rock scissors fucking uh, crapshoot as to which renewable green energy it is today. I mean they talk about you know solar power and wind power. Well you know if, if you fucking dumb shits would just stop being fucking cowards about nuclear energy, all this because the infrastructure is already in place for that. That's easy. Nuclear power is the easiest way to fucking go, and will it'll be cheaper? It'll practically be free. I mean, one power plant fucking supplies power for hundreds and for for hundreds and hundreds of miles around it. Much much more efficient than uh, anything we have now. And with the European model of getting rid of nuclear waste, it's it's not an issue at all. It's it's fucking fantastic. Uh, yeah, but but climate change. All right, so climate change is never going to fucking happen. We don't <coughs> we don't have a solution for it. Every time we think that we have a solution, we think, all right, so we're going to pick up all this fucking trash around here that makes the cities look disgusting and unappealing. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, so are we going to stop clear-cutting forests for bullshit reasons and plant more trees? No, we're, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, so what do we do? Oh, we get this, guys. We tax the rich, abandon capitalism, and go full-on socialism. I got a question to ask you. How the fuck does that help climate change at all? Does that does that stop anything? Does that stop? It won't stop anything. We we don't we don't have a plan. We don't have a plan for it. We're never going to have a plan for it. 
And that's really seriously all there is to it. There's not anything that we have that can actually effectively prevent climate change or change or lessen it or where it's not going to exacerbate anything. You know, it's just not going to happen because we don't have a fucking solution. We don't have the technology. We don't have the patience. We don't have the money. We don't have the... Well, we don't have the fucking way to start. I mean, how do we even start? What's the what's the groundwork that we actually lay this this foundation on, you know? Because I want to figure that out. If we could figure that out, sure. Like, yeah, if there's a problem, if we can lay a foundation and fucking work on top of it, let's fucking go. But I don't think that this administration is really going to have one. So anyway, free college for some. Yeah, that that's just not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. It's been going on for a really long time. Fucking Trump was talking about this shit. Obama talked about this shit. Uh, fucking Democrats have talked about this shit for fucking years now. They never, ever fucking will go for it. You'll never see free college in America. And that's by design. The leaders, the people who you uh, you vote for, they they fucking despise you and they want you stupid and that's by design they want you stupid they don't want you to think you're never going to get college and besides would you even want to go to a fucking college anymore they're basically in marxist indoctrination centers man they're fucking terrible awful ass fucking places fuck college literally anything you want to do if it's online or with a computer you could just fucking figure it out by googling it or just youtubing it i you guys got this you can learn what you want to do for free without spending thousands of dollars or borrowing thousands of dollars I, it takes no effort whatsoever to learn how to edit or code at all you can look up the basic 101 shit immediately by doing either Google or YouTube, I swear to you. Fuck college. College is a scam. And I should know. I'm about like four, $8,000 in fucking debt. It, it's a fucking scam. Raising the minimum wage, which is fucking stupid. It's, of course, the big $15 an hour. And what's going to happen is this. The market will correct itself and level itself out with the $15 minimum wage uh, bar, right? Where the level is, it'll level itself up to that. It'll meet. It'll rise to meet that threshold right there. And the cost of living and the cost of items all around, whatever it is from your favorite luxury item to your favorite snack food, those will rise in accordance to the fucking raise, you know? It'll rise in accordance to that. It'll raise to the occasion. A rise to the occasion, excuse me. And so everything will be even more expensive. So your $15 an hour job turns it out to be about a $10 an hour job. Congratulations, fool. You just fucking played yourself, idiot. Higher taxes for the rich and corporations never will fucking happen. Every time there's a fucking tax... People will never... Uh, the, the government will never fucking tax corporations or the rich any more than is necessary, you know? And it's not necessary now because they'll just fucking leave and take their money with them. They'll give you your penalty or whatever, and they'll tell you to fuck yourself. So... Awesome, we got that one-time big payout, but then we don't get it next year, next year, next year. So this is fucking stupid. Corporations will never pay fucking t any extra taxes whatsoever. They'll All this shit, it'll be great, but it'll just be full of fucking addendums and stuff. They'll essentially hire taxes for the rich and corporations, but not really hire taxes for the rich and corporations. In fact, it'll probably end up turning out to be a fucking... Uh, uh, a tax break or even a fucking bunch of bailouts because fucking corporations love that fucking bailout money. So hey, don't expect anything big from the uh, from the Biden administration or the Kamala Harris administration. These people will not do anything really that they're going to do. Like depending on the Democrat Republican split in both the House and the Senate. You're going to see a lot of stall, a lot of stalling, a lot of Supreme Court hearings. Uh, basically, if Biden gets anything in, it's going to be 
very, very lucky. I, we might actually see an ineffectual president, a lame duck fucking president. I don't think this guy is going to even do anything. I don't think this uh, administration is going to accomplish much at all. Uh, it's just going to lock down the economy. We're going to go into lockdown again, and that's going to fucking destroy the economy. So if we're lucky, uh, we won't descend into a civil war, and uh, their administration gets deposed, and their heads fucking put on spikes, you know, for uh, destroying and dooming everyone and killing millions and millions of people. You fucking idiots, God. I y'all I am sorry guys, but y'all made a mistake uh voting for this fucking douchebag and his idiot administration. Uh I see nothing but fucking awful things on the horizon. He's not going to do well. They never do well, and that's by design. They don't they give you the barely crumbs now. They split the crumbs into halves and the halves and the halves and the halves and they give you that last half. And they tell you to make do. Notice how you had gotten how y'all haven't gotten a fucking stimu uh, second stimulus check, right? Notice how you're not really getting any uh any re eviction protections, and, and they they just all basically rolled back. There's nothing really here. I mean, we're we're just fucked. I, I think this country is pretty much fucked. And I think he, we're all fucked. So sleep tight. This is Mo signing off with his Mo opinion and all that. Have a good one. Good night and good luck. You're going to need it, especially if you're mildly successful or or anything for that matter. If you're not, you know, oh, man, it's just going to be bad. It's going to be a bad fucking time. We, we might not make it out of this one. This might be the last of our fucking country. It might actually be the destruction of it because Biden fucking sucks the dick of China. He'll probably let China, he'll probably, you know, it's like a, a fucking American dad skit where uh, the Democrat that gets in just kisses the feet of the fucking communist regime. And I, I think he'll do that. I think he's a fucking, I think he'll sell us all out. Good night.